Hello again, Keith will be back with another episode of uh, Warzone 2100. And uh, a little note, I found this kind of amusing. I posted or recorded my video, I don't know if I posted it yet, but within like 10 hours of me recording or posting it, whichever one, I saw no Kirum posted a video of the multiplayer option for it. I was just like, oh my god, why? As soon as I started recording this, it suddenly popped up on one of the people I watched. I was really like, there's something going on. But, we're back in this game on mission two. The first mission, we captured the upper area, and now we're moving towards the southern area, where we're going to be dealing with uh, some cyborgs. Oh yeah, I gotta move the keyboard over because this is an early game, and we use the arrow keys to move around the map. Now, we have a little bit of research, which is just engineering, which that does... I don't know what it does, but we will go ahead and, oh yeah, we're going to be attacked from the upper area. And I got to remember the controls again because it's a little bit different. There they are. Yeah, with this being an earlier game, we have to, uh... I don't know why I put that up there. We'll just put that there. And this one here. Yeah, we're doing relatively okay. We're going to keep the high level guys or damage over here. Just to... Yeah, we're going to be uh, picked on by those guys for a while. But we're gonna go ahead and, uh, do you have a research facility? We do. We're gonna go ahead and move south. All these guys, we have... Yeah, I'm gonna keep having issues with me clicking incorrectly. Go ahead and grab you, and move you up there. Structure under attack. Control 1. I'm glad there's control groups, because some earlier games didn't have control groups, which was very troublesome. It made it a little bit more difficult to play some games. We're going to move forward. The small group we have, is if we don't, they're going to attack... the builder unit we have sent out there. Just gotta go ahead and kill everything here. Now what do we got here? What do we find? Ah, fucking flamer units. I don't use flamer units because I just don't like them. We're probably gonna we're gonna take it as much as we can with what we have. Come on, take it out. We're not gonna get much from this mission. And it might not even be a long mission. And in this series I might do mission for mission. Depends on what goes on. Okay, let's move back because we're running out of uh, little boyo bimbes. What do we got now? Mark II. We'll do the engineering again. I believe that improves the... No, 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 no. Not that. It improves the... Uh... Oh, shit. Come on back here. It improves the uh, rate they build stuff, which is pretty useful. I need to get this so it stops slapping around. Oh, and we got here the one that isn't finished. So let's grab one of these boyos. 
get him to finish that. Construct Fancy rookie. Production completed. Still researching that. We're going to group of about 12 of them. I want to keep a good stockpile of power. Tooth is bugging me. And we have an hour for this mission, so we can take our time. Construction completed. But we don't want to spend too long on that. Weapon research completed. Use machine gun Weapon damage. Completed. Upgrade Weapon it automatically. Completed. Weapon research completed. Flamer damage, research defensive completed. structure. Let's get out of here. Now, research. I just want to see what this does, because I'm confused on what it does. We won't know until we research it. We know what the flame gel does. Major research okay. completed. Oh! Oh! Mobile repair turret. We need that, right now. The mobile will tear, repair, no, repair, repair unit will allow us to repair units. Systems research completed. Ooh, we get new buildings and uh, increased construction rates, which is useful. And once we get, uh, what did I just click? What did I just move? No, 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 no. You, you guys go back here. Once we get the repair units, we can repair all of our guys and they'll be fine. Yeah, I'm going to have an issue with that for a while. <laughs> I'm not used to uh, right-clicking. I'm all used to... Uh, well, I'm used to right-clicking. I'm not used to left-clicking, which is uh, part of like the early 90s. It used to be select everything with left-click and drag, and then... We got... Oh, we got it. Cool. So let's design a unit for that. It used to be you'd... Uh, Select everything left click and then move everything with left click and right click was deselect. But now it's switched the other way around. Select every well, the first part, select everything with click and drag with left click and then right click to move, left click to deselect in most games. So let's do the Viper with the wheels and then we'll go for the repair body, which isn't too bad. We'll name it early repair. Mark one repair. Because sooner or later we're going to get better bodies, better wheels, and all that such. But right now we just want to stick with doing just the basic stuff. Now let's go ahead and build a secondary factory. Because we're going to need it. Maybe not right now, but in the future we will need it. Right now I just want to pump out troops. Six. I'm making stew, so I gotta keep an eye on the time, so. It should be fine. It's on a slow boil, so we don't have to worry about it. Two. Anything else in this area that we can. No, just those two derricks. Major research completed. Ah, new defensive structures. We'll go ahead and do that as well, just because we'll make it back in a couple of seconds. Just to get out of the way, because I, I don't like clutter. It sucks to have a ton of clutter. Construction you done? Completed. We're gonna build two of you, and how do I move? Delivery point. Right up there. I'm gonna repair that bad boy. Whoa, you guys saw that graphical glitch? We didn't lose any frames, we're at a good FPS and CPU usage. Noise. <coughs> Once we get a good uh, section of guys together, we should be fine to do our attack. Because we got to attack three areas. Up here, in the center, which I know has uh, an oil derrick. Or no, is it further down here? Down here has oil derricks. And before we finish, I think we'll go for this base, and then the lower base, and then we'll start building a defensive point here. Because along this point, yeah, along this road is where we start having to go to battle. Ah, there we go. First repair unit. This is like the best thing because it costs money to rebuild units. Well, this is just 
rebuilt or re repaired. Research completed. Increase the speed and the damage. Really, researching is like the biggest thing in this game. It can really improve all of your combat capabilities to an immense scale. <coughs> now, we will make these group two, and this will be the group that goes out. <coughs> and the veterans will come back and then be pulled back to be saved. Production completed. There we go. Now, our main enemies are, well, the main production bases are the ones that are up uh, right by our base. They're going to cause the most issues. And then to the south of the other base, they have production down there. Everywhere else is not, or the middle base isn't too much of an issue. It's just like a hard point. No, you guys are going to pull back and let the repair unit repair you. Group one reporting. Group two reporting. Come on. Get, get, get. Come on, get. Yeah, usually the AI is pretty fucking bright on who did. There you go. What do we got now? Get that out of the way. Good thing about this is they auto attack. The turrets are they even though you're moving about, it decides where to fire. Those flame turrets are like to be honest, they're kinda useless. Unless you're playing against someone who's a fucking idiot. Because most likely you're just gonna avoid them like the plague. And ooh, twin machine guns. We'll definitely take those. They increase the fire, but I think they lose a little bit of damage. I'm not 100% sure. Let him repair everyone up. Then for that bottom base, we're gonna have to go. That's the center base. Yeah, we're going to go past them. Or no, we can go around them. I just want to avoid the bulk of them. No, don't defend. That's not what I wanted. I keep on forgetting that you're supposed to left-click, not right-click. Anything producing here? So... No, 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 no. Yeah, just move down and tear through these stupid cyborgs. Yeah, come on. Tear through the walls and run into the base. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got the power node increaser. Okay. 
Now we just gotta bring down an engineer unit. Because that will, if I'm correct. Yeah, that's the scavenger base gone. Well, let's grab two NGs. Bring them over here. Bring them a sc this group, and there's a repair unit, which is good. And we'll just skirt past these guys. Our other base should be able to defend. This is still on fire. Should be fine. That's almost done researching, which uh, I was looking into it, like uh, how power, power generation works. And uh, it's normal. And then when you put the power generation on top of it, it increases it by 50%. But it can only control four derricks at a time, which with this, uh, another one we're getting down there, it will be four in total. Research done. Three, two, one, go! Major research. That to get out of the way. Let's go and plop down there. And that will just make the thing work more efficiently. Not do anything else, just more efficiently. So let's move down. Just straight past that place. Yeah, cyborgs are just near fucking useless. I, I honestly don't know why anyone would use them. Like, I've only seen... Well, I haven't played really online, but... Realistically, I've only seen the AI use them, and... Literally, even if they're cheap as fuck... All that happens is... The AI just gets ripped to shreds. That's it. Let's go ahead and plop down you. And plop down one of you. Let's move Two you warning. into connection with the other base. Come on, move out of the fucking way of the thing. Now we'll increase our power by a little bit. And you can see it now ticking up at a decent speed. Go ahead and plop down one and one ever. Just in case if we ever get in a situation where we're getting fucked over and we get pushed back. And as you can see, we still have 43 minutes left in this mission. No. Damn it, I'm gonna just get confused by that every damn time. We got these done. We're now, like, raking in the dough. And so, we unlocked that other gun. Still the same body, still the same wheels. But we got this now. Which, six range... Six range, twenty six damage, a higher higher rate of fire. Wait. This one, six range, nineteen damage, a lower rate of fire? What? I'm confused. Got more health though. Same range, higher damage though. Double machine gun. We'll save that just to add it to our repertoire. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just for guzz, because. Because. Oh yeah. Damn it. Everything's repaired. So we'll build those units. Just to have them on hand when we go to the other base. Or the other mission. 
To be honest, we will build another one of those every single one. So, that's this mission done. Pretty much. We just need to go up in here and tear shit up. But, we won't do that right now. We'll wait till we get a portion of these units built. It'll only be... It's three and a half minutes. And that's this. Just complete. But, after this mission, I believe there's a few off main map missions. Like, this is only the main map. After this map, there's... I think two or three off maps and then over here we move out of this area which we're gonna get these two guys Production completed. going Production with defenses completed. and these are only like the initial defenses which kind of suck after this we get Like, a lot stronger options. Like, we can give them new towers, new weapons. There's, uh... <coughs> most of the weapons you get for, like, the towers, or for the vehicles, it can also become tower weapons. Like, you have the... These are just the normal guns. Machine gun tower. But then you have the option for, say... Mortars, sensor towers, uh, sniper towers, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I last played this to an extent. But there's a ton of just crazy shit you can do with research. It seems like an old game, but they have so many mechanics that just really tickle my fancy. I wish more games had this to it. Like, even though it's some s so simplistic. Like, these vehicles are probably... 20 to like 60 polygons but they're still very very detailed Construction completed. let's move you guys up completed. after that finishes because i know after this we're gonna have that mission that's off this area come on Finish it. Now after we finish this video, I'm going to go cut some potatoes to add to the stew. Completed. Production completed. Construction completed. Production completed. I would bring the other units that are more experienced, but I want to bring the uh, better quality stuff. Another thing to add into this is... Uh, buildings harbor or anything they add in the option to recycle units with experience to then give that experience to the next unit built so you can take like 10 high quality like say these shit units can't remember how to do it right now there you go return for cycling to Oh, we can do it right now. Let's grab a couple of the high ranking ones, like this guy. Okay, we want you, you, you. Don't need you. Come on. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid, stupid. Oh. And we're going to return all three of these.
Now, if I'm correct, we should be able to build six that are all of a higher quality off the bat. Because, I don't know, the, the pilots of those earlier vehicles and their experience for using those vehicles are now imbued into these new vehicles. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to hit the mic. I think, if I remember correctly, it was a nice mechanic they added. If I'm remembering it. Production completed. Yeah, as you can see, he now has, right off the bat, the improved uh, quality to him. So all the units that come out of this will now inherit the experience that uh, they had before. Ow, god damn it, I got an itchy leg. Production completed. Yeah, he's got trained, this guy's got regular. So that's a nice little bonus. We'll let them finish, then we'll finish off this area we're on now. Because I think they're down, or done down here. Oh yeah, we just gotta finish off. And we'll go ahead and build Construction completed. another two towers. Construction ah, completed. Or the rings. So that will keep anyone out. It won't do much. It will just make anyone get pushed to this area unless they attack shit. But it's still useful. So this will just allow us to generate, I wish we built silos because some missions you max out your resources because you don't need to build anything, but you still have power generating and you can't store it. At least I don't remember if there is storage option. We got another three to build all with higher experience. Ah, I feel like I have a little bit more energy because I'm not drinking as much. This is like the first day I drank in like three or four days compared to like last week where I was drinking five days a week. So I'm looking forward to actually drinking instead of just drinking because of it. But I don't know. I talk about it too much with, over the last day or so. It's just fucking, you guys don't fucking care. I don't care. Production completed. It's nice to be changing lifestyles, though. And playing retro games. Smoking strawberry. Is this strawberry? Actually, it's mango. I'm smoking mango. One more left to build, and then we're on our merry way to finish this mission. I keep forgetting that I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I'm so used to the WASD keys. Fences are up. Maybe we can... Yeah, I just want to fuck up anyone's day that decides to come through that area. So. We have our units. Let's move them out in the open and put them as control group 1. We have these ones up here, which have all their friggin' repair units. Which on the first area, we're going to take all three repair units and set them up as group two, and then the units will be group one. Yeah, they'll be done with that before I'm done here. Yeah, I played this in the past. I never really recycled units. I just threw them at the maw and let the maw devour them. Construction completed. When realistically, you want to keep your units that are experienced. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but just give me one moment. Grab a random t-shirt. I don't want to... Soak my desk. Oh. Fucking beers randomly foaming and shit. I didn't even set it down hard. I don't know why that happened. Boop. 
So, sorry about that. Let's continue. We're gonna move up this hill and fuck shit up on the way. Okay, what I want to do is hold fire, get up there, just so we can get that sensor tower. I want to research that before we finish this mission, because otherwise we might have issues. Ah. What is that? Sensor tower. Oh my god, that's an itchy, itchy thigh. So we got that sensor tower, we'll research it, and then we'll build uh, one or two around, just because. But they can really help out later in missions, like, you can actually attach, like, there's so many little mechanics that I haven't seen in, in any fucking RTSs these days, that really take away from the RTS. The RTSs I've seen these days are just straight, uh, rock, paper, scissors, uh, here's the vehicles. Tanks beat light armor. Light armor beats infantry. Infantry beat tanks, or like however you want to go about it. And it infuriates me. I like seeing this little extra, this little extra spice to RTSs. So what I was saying, you can attach mortars to sensor towers. The mortars will then have, uh, I think it's like, I don't remember how much extra range, but they can then fire that anything, or fire anything that the sensor tower sees. Which is useful. Let's go ahead and build. Uh, can't build them yet? Oh no, that's just the sensor unit. The sensor units can also do the same. You'll put, park them on a high hill and suddenly all your mortars can now see over those hills. But we need to build the sensor tower first. And then after that, we will go ahead and uh, destroy that last bunker. That's the last thing on the map. We're almost at Mac, 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 Match, Buff. Fuck myself. In the time being, we'll build another three each. But it will increase their max range. It will increase our vision range and a bunch of other things, which is useful. You can't go wrong with a bit of extra vision range. After we finish these nine units, We'll go ahead and finish this mission for this week, and then next week we'll pick it back up. But because of how this game works, we'll be jumping in into, or jumping in, uh, ah, there we go. Jumping in the next mission like this video. Production completed. Production completed. Already finished? Oh no, it's just that single. Later in the game, some of the missions, you'll get like multiple artifacts and you need multiple research stations. But right now we're fine with just one. But yeah, you can just see, we just unlock like a good vision range with all that. We'll leave it here, or leave the vision here so you guys can see. Oh. Move that guy so completed. Production completed. Yeah, we unlock a really large vision chunk. But, let's finish off that last area and end the video there. We're going to move you out of the way. Actually, no, we're going to move you in the way. Oh, fuck. I can't fucking right-click one. Auto-fire. Production complete objective. Woo! Boom! So, we only lost 7 units, but we killed fucking almost 80. Didn't lose any structure, killed a ton. We manufactured uh, a pretty good amount and built a couple structures and recovered a good amount of stuff. Mission time, total game time. Oh, that means how much time we played so far. And we got a guy to regular. Which, if we keep recycling them, then we can continue on having more. But, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. In the next video, we're going to continue on to uh, whatever mission. Let's actually see what that mission is. Commander, Just so you guys get a tease. Are now secure. Transport reconnaissance.
reconnaissance reveals numerous pre-collapse ruins near this location. Load an assault force into the transport. The transport will then fly you to the landing zone. Upon landing, explore the ruins and recover any artifacts in the vicinity. Mission timer activated. Okay. So, in the next mission, we'll fly to New Zone, just what I thought it was, and find more artifacts. But, if you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike and a comment for either option. I always love hearing back from you guys. And if you want to see future updates by me, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I thank you for watching. My name is Keith Loki, and I hope you have a good night. Bye.